when they detonated the bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, mm-hmm. that's when UFOs start coming. And all the UFO activity ramped up substantially. And Why do they, you think that is? Because I think they realize we have nukes. Like, these crazy motherfuckers that just wipe <laughs> out whole cities with nukes. These fucking assholes, they had to come down and go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? Why you think they came? Like, yo, hey, they fucking nuclear weapons. What the fuck is going on? Who gave them nuclear weapons? Yeah. Well, I think like, they realized we reached a level of technological sophistication that we could kind of kill everybody on, on Earth. Oh, you think um, one of them went rogue and taught us? I don't think one of them went rogue and taught us because there's a very, like, if you go and look at the Manhattan Project and you go and look at the history of splitting the atom, there's, there's a very clear academic uh, paper trail of how they figured this out and all the the trials that they did and what they did when they d- detonated the Trinity bomb Which by the way was one of the first times they ever discovered those nano diamonds It's called I think they called Trinitite and it's uh, it's like nuclear glass They call it as well, mm-hmm. and it's what happens when a massive impact hits sand and it turns it into this kind of glass I think that Because when you come with the uh, all the visits yeah what they what were they visiting to do? Cause I know you know they all say like we we caught one or something like that. Yeah. You know if Think, you, if you did, did you try to torture him and get stuff out of him? Uh, what would be the thing? But what were the visits if they wasn't teaching something? Cause I, I, cause I believe in it. That's I just don't know what they were visiting to do. Well, the way I describe it is um, there's a great show on Netflix called Chimp Empire. And Chimp Empire is all about these scientists that are embedded in this chimp tribe. And they've been there for 30 years. Because these scientists have been there for 30 years, the chimpanzees behave like there's no people there. They, they, they can get within 20 feet of these chimpanzees. Chimpanzees, as long as they don't eat in front of them, and as long as they never present any sort of danger, raise their voices, and as long as they just stay back, the chimps don't pay attention to them at all. They just go throughout their life. And so these scientists are observing these chimpanzees and then the cinematographers captured all of this. I think the way we treat chimpanzees is probably, and they let them kill each other. They do wild shit to each other, these chimps. They engage in territorial warfare. They fight over access to fruit. I think they, the, the aliens would treat us the same way. I think they would observe us but not do anything. And I think if we did something fucking dangerous like nuclear bombs, then they would go, whoa, okay. Because I think every, if, if alien societies do exist and intelligent life is out there in the universe, I think what happens is they keep getting more and more and more and more sophisticated. And in the beginning, they, they, they engage in tribal warfare. And as they become more and more sophisticated, their technology becomes far too dangerous to keep doing that same shit. And that's when they observe them. Because it's this perilous tipping point where we could completely wipe out life on Earth, or we can evolve and get to the next stage of existence where we could coexist harmoniously all, all in throughout the universe and join some fucking global, you know, some rather universal group of beings. That's yeah. possible. But the only yeah. way that's possible is if we don't nuke ourselves. So with the chimpanzees, they observing they the scientists are there they observing them yeah and they see them they don't pay attention see the problem with us that we scared if i we we see an alien i'm i'm not gonna not pay attention <laughs> of course. i'm gonna ah who the fuck yeah <laughs> of it's course like, it's like men in black like they gotta look normal i believe that it's it's definitely other life forms it's definitely other civilizations is happening that we just not Ready for you. I don't think we ready. I don't I, think I we're, mind. We got to we got to be groomed. Do you think that there's like all these UFO sightings and the government talking about UFOs and these most recent this whistleblower that came out and said that there's a crash retrieval program and we have crashed vehicles and they've recovered alien bodies? You believe and I believe, but it's the old man like hell no. Yeah. I'm not messing with it. He, he, yeah. And cuz he not ready for the difference, like man, he it's, it's some hillbilly that just now got used to seeing black people. He <laughs> damn de- <laughs> de- de- sure he ready. He ain't for ready gray for, people. He ain't ready, for, uh, he ready for shit else. He's right. like, hey man, what else, man? God damn. 
Like, 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 he got like six eyes, man. What is this shit? Like, like, he's not ready. He's not ready, man. I wonder if that's what they're doing by show by by these sightings. I wonder if it's like a trickle effect. Like, if it's a little bit, like with the Jetsons, we still don't believe in the Jetsons, and we like nobody. So they were already pulling people up on on big screens, talking to each other and shit on the Jetsons. Yeah. And my mother was watching the Jetsons. Who thought that the Jetsons? So when it happened, you just you just went and got it. Oh, it's eight hundred dollars. You just got excited about having it instead of what the fuck. Now you because it's the Jetsons. It's it's you in this time frame. It has to be a grooming. It's like okay, let's see how they act with E. T. Okay, they seem to love that movie. Um, shit, let's throw Alf out there. Let's yeah, let's see if they ready for a furry one. You know what I'm saying? And then then Alf, let's, I forgot then, about Alf. Then it's like hey. Maybe the Muppets, maybe the Muppets, big ass bird, <laughs> just rolling around and talking stuff. It's some, it's some. Then we go, we advance up to, um, what was that? The man from Mars, and then the Great Gazoo, and yeah. then now we up to Men in Black, and and this shit is all right, you know, because it's you know you the man, it it it's a trickle, it's a ah, we gotta keep feeding it to him. And then all of a sudden, you just see some somebody just come down the spaceship at McDonald's. I'm like, hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all good? Uh, let me get two <laughs> Big Macs. And then, cause we, we we love y'all. It's Earth food. And then and you like, and then you like, hey man, you saw that? Like, yeah, I saw that shit last week. You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> then that's it. Then you now now you get a you got to get accustomed to 